So I'm thinking it can go two ways. We can just come straight across with a series of lines like that, which is one way. The other way, let me just erase those lines for a sec. Come across from the opposite side, like this corner right here. And strike a series of lines. This pin isn't working very well. In a kind of a sunburst pattern. Well, in reality, we want to get that out of there, so <laughs> let's uh, erase this. And we're going to come from this corner. Yeah, let's really erase it. That's better. So, now, let's do this again. We'll take a brand new thick felt tip and we will make our marks. There's one. Two, Something like that. All right, what's that look like? I don't know. But I think it's going to be okay. So we're just going to go for it, see what happens. Okay, let's see here. So we want to come right out on the edge here. We're going to start in the center. Can you see that? Yep, you can see it. Give ourselves lots of support. And then wang the shit up. Yeah, we got a bit, bit of a dent going there.
All right, let's see what that looks like. We're going to get a little piece of sandpaper. And just sand off the, uh, the ink lines. See how close we got with the texture. Yeah, it's a little better. I like it. Maybe a little bit more right in that corner there. Well, I fucked that one up. But you know, with this kind of stuff, you can't go back. That's reasonable. Let's go back inside. All right, so now we've got our basic line set up, but I don't like the fact that they're, you know, I couldn't get a solid surface on the back here, so they're a little funny. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is come in with a three-quarter file, three-corner file, or maybe a four-corner file, <clears throat> whichever one I find first. a dozen of them there's one and we're just gonna kind of work the lines a little bit One, get it to go just a little bit deeper. all right that's pretty good I missed a little bit right there but well you know it is what it is so I want to just do just a little bit of a notch right here on each one of these just to give it just a little bit more definition That's better. Let's um, let's hit it with the sanding disc, or I mean the sanding board, just to kind of bring bring the possibility of what the polish is going to look like. And that's not too bad. As I said, we missed that one line just a little bit, but you know, hey. It's handmade. And I think, other than going in and cleaning up this inside edge a bit,
I think we're ready to go ahead and polish this and then set the stone. Well, stones. All right, that looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is just round off these edges here just a bit because um, <clears throat> they're pretty sharp and they don't want to be that way. You don't want to wear a sharp instrument on your wrist. Not a whole lot of rounding, but just a bit. All right, so that's starting to look pretty good. We still got a ways to go to get this, this border all finished off, but uh, I think we're good for now. Uh, let me go get that other file. Let's see what we can do here. Where were we at? Working on this edge, this edge, and this edge.
Okay, all of our edges are dulled and, uh, and the bracelet can go on and be comfortable. Uh, all of our edges up here, or our surfaces up here are nice and flat and, uh, and um, it looks like we're about ready for polish. Just a little bit more messing around here. All right, I think we're good. Let's take it over and put a little Winox in this and uh, down in here and just get that to kind of start setting up. And then I'm almost ready to start polishing in any minute. All right, let's go over and Winox that and then also uh, Maybe just take it in and throw a fast polish on it. Well, there were many times where I took my jewelry up to the local hot springs. Well, of course, I'd have it in my truck, and I wanna and and the uh, Sierra Hot Springs has uh, a. Um, rotten egg smell which has a lot of sulfur in it and the sulfur uh, creates a really great uh, um, patina on on silver now you can't always do that so I purchased <laughs> this little can of Winox which is Oh, I don't know, it must be 30 years old at this point, and looks how much I've used. Well, maybe almost half. And so it kind of takes the place of uh, going to the hot springs. You can see it just antiques whatever surface it touches. And we're going to antique this one here. Looks good. So now we just let that set up for a few hours. Let it dry completely. And, um, and then we can go into the polish. Yeah, that's going to be a nice bracelet. I think Ike's going to like that. And also what we have to do is take it over to Ike and make sure that it fits. I mean, we've already checked the fit, but things have changed in the last four years. Uh, you know, uh, certainly we added thickness to this. And uh, so anyhow, we're going to take it in and show it to him before we put the stones in. Well, so anyway, uh, we've got the bracelet. We're going to let everything set up a little bit and uh, we got to make a run into Sacramento in a, about an hour or so. It's about five o'clock in the morning. And um, so, uh, hey, we'll be back in a day or two or a week or a month. I'm not sure when, but soon.